What's going on, my fellow A plusers? It is I, your host, as always, Adam Perez, coming through once again with a brand new video for you guys today. A little bit of an impromptu video on Tuesday, but I think our Power Ranger fans will be really thrilled that I dropped this video for them, guys. Uh, as listen, I know we don't talk too much Power Rangers on A plus here report, but that is certainly about to change as we have shut down our A plus more phenomenal YouTube channel. Uh, and we're really condensing that content and bringing it over here to A plus hero report power rangers are heroes too we got to certainly go ahead and continue to show them the love so guys we're going to talk a little power rangers today as yes for those of you who are not aware Power Rangers is certainly still alive and about if the only thing that you recall is in fact Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and things are certainly about to change as Hasbro has not only acquired the rights Power Rangers is also over at Entertainment One and they have officially landed a deal with Netflix for Netflix to be Power Rangers new home that's right guys and so we've been patiently awaiting more news uh there definitely have a little, been a lot of question marks in regards to the future of power rangers on netflix is jonathan and whistle still connected with all the struggles that netflix is dealing with right now financially and with subscribers is this power ranger deal ever happening will we get new power ranger reboot and reimagined content the answer is certainly coming to us today from good old deadline.com and a very reliable source as always to let us know that when it comes to the Power Ranger live action series for Netflix, we're still pushing forward, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and dive into this uh, as, uh, you know, I should have pulled this up and had this ready to go. But according to Deadline, Jenny Klein is in fact set to go ahead and serve as showrunner on Power Rangers series as part of an overall deal with Entertainment One. Now, while I personally am not familiar with Jenny Klein, let's learn a little bit more about her and see exactly how she's going to fit into the overall scheme of things. So, so this is an exclusive report from uh, Deadline saying, Jenny Klein uh, from The Thing About Pam has signed an overall deal for exclusive content with independent studio Entertainment One. Under the two-year pact, Klein will develop genre and drama-based television content and will serve as showrunner on Entertainment One's Power Rangers series that is currently in development at Netflix. So she's not only going to be working on Power Rangers, she's technically working for Entertainment One under a two-year deal, but she will be creating content, and Power Rangers is just the one thing among them. It seems as though the first thing, though, that they are announcing that Jenny Klein is working on. She'll collaborate on the series with Jonathan Entwistle, who is overseeing the Power Rangers universe under a deal that he signed with Entertainment One in 2020 to develop the franchise across film and television. Vision. So Jonathan and Whistle is certainly still on board despite him not having Power Rangers in his Twitter handle anymore. I haven't checked it in about a week, so maybe he added it back. But according to Deadline, Jenny and Jonathan will certainly be collaborating to bring this reboot and reimagined live action series to Netflix. Entertainment One said building this partnership with Jenny, whose talent and passion transcends genres, is an exciting moment for us. We believe that her distinctive vision makes her the perfect fit to help us develop has bros deep library of ip as well as original projects and we're thrilled to have her on board uh they did say that back in 2021 during their deadline interview michael lombardo noted that the studio is taking a whole world approach to power rangers it's not just one show it's shows followed by films and some kids programming. I, I do wonder if it comes in that order. Are we doing the shows first and then the films and kids programming? Uh, or is it, or will the, the order be revealed to us eventually, right? I have no idea if the film is supposed to kick off this new Power Ranger reboot and reimagined world or not. We'll certainly have to go ahead and wait and see. But I love the idea first because the fact that she's collaborating with Jonathan Entwistle makes me feel like Jonathan Entwistle is like, not just the overseer, but I feel like this is becoming a cliche term to kind of use maybe like the Kevin Feige that they have of Marvel, somebody that has the ideas, the story can creatively put it ideas to pen and paper or even to the screen, but utilizing him in a sense of, like he said, overseer and hiring other people to go ahead and create the shows, movies, yada, 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 right? So uh, it seems as though Jenny Klein is now the showrunner for the more mature side of the live action Power Rangers series. And if we're still talking films and kids programming, listen, if the kids programming certainly needs a showrunner, 
you know, Simon Bennett, anyone, I personally would love it if they wind up not only bringing him back, but also included him in the Jonathan Entwistle stuff that's uh, currently being created. And I only say that because Simon Bennett has certainly proved himself in regards to bringing back Power Ranger fans and allowing that um, anticipation and excitement to certainly return to the franchise. This is what Jenny Klein says. She says, one, E1 is an impressive, versatile home to develop original content. And when, if it's, with its incredible toy box to dig into it's such an exciting place to be i couldn't feel prouder to bring its beloved ip to viewers um it also say that if you are ch interested in checking out what jenny klein has worked on i usually like to do that simply because it allows me to better understand what this person is going to bring to our franchise or our series in particular what's her vision been like on other stuff and how can she bring that to power rangers it says that she's co-created executive produced and served as a showrunner on The Thing About Pam, which became NBC's top-rated new series of the 2021 and 2022 season. So she she does it all. She does it all. She also served as co-executive producer on Daisy Jones and The Six at Amazon, and some of her other credits include The Witcher, Facebook's Sacred Lies, Marvel's Cloak and Dagger, which I was actually a big fan of, along with Jessica Jones and Supernatural. So she's got the resume. She's got the resume uh, in regards to some of the stuff that she's worked on, considering the fact that she has show run her own show before, the fact of giving her this property in Power Rangers and say, hey, we want you in charge of it, uh, I think is definitely a great thing. And again, I, while I'm not too familiar with how she's handled her other stuff it seems like she's got some great accolades under her belt uh and uh, a great resume to certainly back her up in doing it so uh i will say this man this news came at like the perfect time if you ask me um the idea of us finally getting some news i know there was a lot of worry about movement with power rangers uh people really kind of getting into their negative feelings are are we really going to get this now with everything that's certainly been happening uh this is like another lifeline that i feel like power ranger fans certainly needed uh to continue to get hope and really have something to look forward to in the future in regards to what power rangers are certainly going to bring us so jonathan and whistle still serving as the overseer to this Power Ranger franchise. And Jenny Klein announced as our showrunner for the live action Power Ranger series. Are we going to get other showrunners announced in the future for kids programming? We'll definitely have to go ahead and see, but this is the first step into the right direction, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sure we'll probably talk a little bit about this more um, uh, later on this weekend on A Plus Hero Report, maybe an honorable mention or something like that, maybe talking with Stuart and the rest of the gang. Uh, but we'll definitely go ahead and continue to keep you guys posted. Posted. But uh, look, I, I want to know what you guys think. Um, now that you see that when it comes to the Power Rangers side of things and Entertainment One and Netflix, there is a heartbeat. Uh, are you thrilled to see that we finally have ourselves a showrunner? For me, I'll be kind of curious to see who she uh, brings in as writers, um, who she gets as some of her directors for some of the episodes. And now that we have a showrunner, maybe Jenny Klein will start doing some interviews, giving us some ideas as to what we can expect from the series, even if it's just small details like how many episodes are we getting how long of an episode can we expect when it comes to this season again i think if it is a netflix series show i think we definitely have to keep in mind the idea of the format of power rangers changing in regards to number of episodes lengths and things like that and how they do their storytelling so uh we'll see what happens here guys but listen at the end of the day i want to know your thoughts these are just my a plus opinions i want to know yours so let your thoughts be known in the live chat or the comment section box below guys and until next time do me a big favor as always take care of yourselves take care of each other and keep it a plus i'll talk to you guys later bye